Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 1025 in Honolulu, 425 in New York. It is Thursday, September 22nd, 2016. And we are looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average continuing to climb following the FOMC announcement yesterday along with the Bank of Japan. In other words, worldwide, cheap monetary policy, easy money, so to speak. And that's really fueled uh, the second leg of the rally, which began yesterday. A Dow Jones Industrial Average closing up about 100 points at 18,392. The big winner was NASDAQ. NASDAQ today actually closed at a new record high of 4886. This, of course, is the NASDAQ 100 E-mini, but the NASDAQ as a whole climbed to a new record territory, as you can see, up about three quarters of a percent. When we look at the uh, Standard & Poor's, that closed up over six tenths of a percent, up 14 points at 2177. Of course, one of the other things we want to look at is the continuing fall of the US dollar. A dollar should continue to get weaker at this point, 95.39, putting it off about a third of a percent, a little bit shy of that. And lastly, at lastly, excuse me, is crude light. Crude light bouncing up higher again, up to 46.12, 78 cent gain or 1.7 uh, in terms of the percentage gain. We'll try to look at a couple of these markets, specifically the dollar and crude oil, all on today's daily report. So traders, I do want to look at oil and the dollar today, but just before we do that, I want to take a quick look at the NASDAQ. As I said, the tech stocks, and we've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks, have been absolutely uh, outperforming the rest of the U.S. equities in terms of different sectors. We had a record top that was sitting as you can see, I'm drawing an arrow or a line to these highs that we had here. Now, this is a weekly chart. So roughly a month and a half ago, we hit these highs. We had a dramatic drop three weeks ago. Last week, we had a significant rise. We had that engulfing bullish on a weekly chart. And then we get a defined breakout to the upside in which we see the NASDAQ moving to a new record and all-time high. So traders, I want to compare that to the standard and pours, this being the standard S&P 500, the uh, straight contract, not the E-mini. And when we take a look at that, we can see the former top that was hit that's right here occurred really the same time, of course, as the top on the NASDAQ. And this occurring roughly a month and a half ago, three weeks ago, that dramatic sell-off. Now take a look at this. When we consider that last week's trading activity, we had this market move into the body of uh, the last red candle, meaning this candle, but it closed really at about the midway point or halfway point of that range during the week. And that would give you a piercing line, almost a piercing line, because we're not quite at that midpoint. You've got to close at or above the midpoint. This week, of course, we've got that midpoint being covered. So you almost have a piercing line, but it took two weeks really to actualize. But as you can see, the S&P, although is very close to uh, our record highs, is certainly not there yet. So we absolutely are seeing the NASDAQ lead the way. And so traders, really interesting has been the action we have seen in the crude oil market. Of course, concerns over supply right now has really pushed that market higher. We talked about, this is a daily chart, we talked about yesterday, the fact that we had a true gap that appeared in this market. Gaps are fairly rare. You will get gaps in which you have a price void between the open and close, such as right here. In other words, the market actually, let me get to another pointer up, but the market opens here and then closes here. And then this is the high of the day, of course. The following day, it opens here and then closes much higher here. But you get this price void right here, although the price void is not a true price void because you had the high of the previous day going into the low of the current candle, meaning these two candles here. Now, when we look at this per, uh, current price gap, 
you can see that there is absolutely a real price void. Now, today we had another jump. And it, again, it's not that true gap because as you can see, the high of yesterday's trading activity absolutely crossed into the low of today. So it's not a true price gap, but nonetheless, this is a, an unusual occurrence when you see this occur two days in a row, because what it's telling you is there's a tremendous amount of buying right now, and you're working on rumor, really, that this market could head higher, and it certainly is now up around 46.11. So traders, lastly, I do want to look at the US dollar. Now, the dollar is currently trading off about a quarter percent, 95.40. That's the current area. Interesting activity, first of all, with the announcement yesterday uh, made by the Fed that there would be no interest rate hike, there's still a 54% probability, according to the uh, CME, that we will see a rate hike in December. However, the one thing that you do want to look at on today's trading activity is the type of candle that we have. It's certainly an umbrella line. It's a hammer or a doji because of uh, the, the basis of the smallness, really, of this real body. And what that means is that even though we made these lows that came down around 95, buying did come into the market and pushed the price point back up near the open, although a little bit below it, but nonetheless, an interesting candle. We'll take a look at this, obviously, as we review the markets, and we've got a lot to review on Friday. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another update and the weekly review. Bye-bye.